By this time, Little Bear had eaten all the berries he could reach without moving from his clump of bushes. Then he hustled off to catch up with his mother. He hunted and hunted, but his mother was nowhere to be seen. He heard a noise from over his stump and thought, that's my mother walking along. But it was a mother partridge and her children. They stopped eating berries and hurried away. Then he heard a noise in the bushes and thought, that is surely my mother. I will hustle that way. But it was little Sal's mother instead. She was walking along picking berries and thinking about canning them for the next winter. Little Bear hustled right along behind. Little Bear and Little Sal's mother and Little Sal and Little Bear's mother were all mixed up with each other among the blueberries on Blueberry Hill. Little Bear's mother heard Sal walking along behind and thought it was Little Bear and she said, Little Bear, munch, munch, eat all your oop can possibly hold, swallow. Little Sal said nothing. She picked three berries and dropped them. Kuplink, kuplink, kuplunk in her small tin pail. Little Bear's mother turned around to see what on earth could make a noise like kuplunk. Grumph, she cried choking on a mouthful of berries. This is not my child. Where's little bear? She took one good look and backed away. She was old enough to be shy of people, even a very small person like little Sal. Then she turned around and walked off very fast to hunt for little bear. Little Sal's mother heard little bear tramping along behind and thought it was little Sal. She kept right on picking and thinking about canning blueberries for next winter. Little Bear paddled, padded up and peeked into her pail. Of course, he only wanted to taste a few of what was inside, but there were so many and they were so close together that he tasted a tremendous mouthful by mistake. Now Sal, said little Sal's mother without turning around. You run along and pick your own berries. Mother wants to can these for next winter. Little Bear tasted another tremendous mouthful and almost spilled the entire pail of blueberries. Little Sal's mother turned around and gasped, My goodness, you are not little Sal. Where, oh, where is my child? Little Bear just sat munching and munching and swallowing and licking his lips. Little Sal's mother slowly backed away. She was old enough to be shy of bears, even very small bears like Little Bear. Then she turned and walked away quickly to look for Little Sal. She hadn't gone very far before she heard a kuplink, kuplink, kuplunk. She knew just what made that kind of noise. Little Bear's mother had not hunted long, very long before she heard a hustling sound that stopped now and then to munch and swallow. She knew just what made that kind of a noise. Little Bear and his mother went home down one side of Blueberry Hill, eating blueberries all the way and full of food stored up for next winter. And little Sal and her mother went down the other side of Blueberry Hill, picking berries all the way and drove home with food to can for next winter, a whole pail of blueberries and three more besides. The end.